Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 1% playthrough speed of Doom and Ultra Violent with Fast Monsters enabled. This is map 33, Descent to Nowhere, made by Joshi. Joshi describes the map as follows. This is a revamped version of a very old map of mine. When I was in my copying Alien Vendetta and have reviewed Maps Grace mapping phase, it was originally placed in map 15 slot, but it didn't fit in very well with the other maps thematically and in terms of gameplay flow and demoing. So I relocated it as a standalone slot in map 33. It's not exactly good for UV speed, but it should provide a challenge for the maxers. Here it is, Belial, happy face. Attempt number... That's right, map 33, and there's a 33rd level in Speed of Doom. Normally inaccessible, unless you warp or use cheats. And it's a bit of a hidden gem, I like this map. Well, I like the music mostly, the map itself is pretty cool. It's really difficult with fast monsters, that's uh, for sure. Some may even say it's more difficult than 32 because it's so cramped and yeah, each fight requires yeah, strategies. For instance, we have two shotgunners, we just open and close the door onto the infight, then the shotgunner gets close, I can snatch the shotgun and deal with this pinky. And yeah, there's two archers over there, we're gonna ignore them, we're just gonna wake up the chain gunners, and we get them to infight or something. Come on, infight. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, those chain gunners are, I mean, the archers are a pain in the ass. Let's open the door, deal with the echo here. Oh crap. Don't hit me please. Alright, so this room. Let's shoot that door. It opens the, the room to the supercharge. And this room is filled with chain gunners and hell knights, so yeah, we're just gonna leave, so we open the door, press the switch from a specific angle so the Hell Knight doesn't wake up, kill the chain gunner, get the Berserk, get the supercharge, wait a bit, and then go for the armor, god, and now we're a bit safe, at least the Baron cannot go down here, so that really helps, zombies can I think. Well, at least that shotgunner got pretty low. Alright, so now we deal with the aims, but I need to be careful. We still have chain gunners and hell knights to deal with. From that room with the Kaku Demon. Let's just deal with the aims here. Then with this hell knight, uh, we can chain gun him. I think it's faster than the than the shotgun. Okay. More shotgunners. Oh, one of the Hell Knights is here. Oh, nice. The chain gun hit him. Good. Okay, I can deal with the Hell Knights from here. Maybe that's safer? I'm not sure. My view is a bit obscured. Okay. There's the third Hell Knight. Perfect. And both chain gunners are dead. Yeah, this up is tricky because the beginning doesn't have much health. I mean, it damn it, who's shooting me? Oh, you. Um, yeah, the beginning doesn't have that much health. And did I mention there's a forced archful jump here? If you want to go for all the secrets? Yeah, that always uh, takes a chunk of your health. And this is one of those jumps where you cannot use the uh, absorption trick. You know, where you only take 20 damage. Man, what a waste of rockets. Okay. But yeah, this map has a lot of, like, these tricky fights. Back to back. Oh, the Archer can see me. You know what? Let's... Let's go do the Archer jump first. Because that means I, I can also kill the Archfalls. Because they are a pain in the ass. So I kill one. And I used the one that is alive to do the jump. Have to be careful not to <laughs> kill them both at the same time. That means I have to restart. Okay, he's dead. Now I do the jump. Ugh. Oh, he's gonna set me again. Oof. 
Close. Very close call. He nearly zapped me for a second time. I would have died. But yeah, that secret gives you a BFG. And a, yeah, a bunch of health bonuses, which is actually pretty nice. So you can recover from the uh, artful jump. And also let's kill these imps, because why not? Anyway, the BFG is nice to have because of this fight. Well, the fast monsters, they're quite predictable. Okay, so normally I use the BFG here, because they will get close, but this time I timed everything pretty well. And I don't think any of them went into the pain state, so they didn't, like, get interrupted while doing the uh, Devil Magics attack. Alright, so it's going quite well. I have 100 health, I have armor, that's good. Next room, this one is pretty easy. I do want to save some rockets though. I'm gonna fight a horde of revenants very soon. I'll save the rockets just in case. I don't need to use rockets for these imps. Or for the cacos, so... Plenty of shells, so... Let's just SSG this guy. And now... Yeah, grab the rockets. Don't make the same mistake as before. Yeah, go up the stairs. Wait a bit. And... Yeah, let the revenants come here. The other mansion in this MIDI is freaking amazing. I think this is a very underrated Speed of Doom MIDI. Everyone talks about stars, but nobody talks about this one. I hear Revenant still. They tend to get stuck here, so... Okay, there's like three left. Okay. Then there's this Baron. You cannot telefrag him, by the way. There's two different teleport destinations, just so you know. You will teleport in front of the Baron, and yeah, he's gonna melee you. Okay. Next room. Uh, this one is pretty nasty, actually. Let me kill the uh, Arachnus first. So I can collect these rockets. Don't really need them. Because this area is very cramped once again. Although I can rocket the Hell Knights, I guess. Yeah, this area is pretty damn difficult. If you don't know what you're doing. So when you grab the red key, there's going to be two revenants and a pink key in that small room. You're going to get locked in there. And outside this room, there's also going to be chain gunners, I think, and revenants and Hell Knights. So it's pretty... Pretty nasty, but if you pre-fire a BFG like this, or twice, you can BFG your way out, pretty much. And yeah, just kill the Revenant, the two Revenants, and the Pinky ASAP with that BFG. You may have to fire twice, just in case, if the Revenant... The second Revenant teleports later. Okay, well, I'm glad I survived this. Uh, next fight is nothing bad, really. Just some Barons and Hell Knights. We're gonna rocket these. Okay. Press the switch, and then we leave, because it's gonna be hit scan. So yeah, I just hide here. Did I leave behind the medikit here? No, I grabbed it. What about this one? Did I grab... Ah, don't need it. Rockets. Rockets. So yeah, just some hits can as well teleport in. And 116 enemies left. Or killed, I mean. That means we are... Had all the kills before the final fights. And the final fights, they saved the hardest one for the last. Ooh, this fight. With fast monsters, oh, it's awful. 
Okay, so first of all, this is Harrowfield. It's a, it's a descent, well, like the map name implies. So we're gonna fight enemies while the floor lowers. It starts off with a Cyber Demon, which I will super shot them to death, actually. So I want to save as many cells as possible. And it takes a while before enemies teleport in, so you have the time to SSG this guy to death. Last shot. One more. Yeah. Okay, then Plasma. And get ready for the pinkies. And pay good attention to the pillar in the middle. At some point it's going to be a supercharge. You have only one chance to get it. And it's when the chain is going to spawn in. That you have a chance to go for it. So I have to pay good attention when the chain is going to spawn in. So here's one. That means supercharge will be available very soon. There it is. Like the secrets. Okay. Uh, the Baron, I think, will keep alive. I'm gonna focus on everything but the Baron. Yeah, and don't stop firing. Every point of damage matters, because you don't get any armor. Oh, and Revenants really need to go because of the homing missiles. You may be thinking, why don't you just use the BFG? Well, good timing with that cell pack. There's two additional cell packs you can grab. Oh, these missiles, man. Thank you, Mancubus. Okay, the Baron I'll leave alone. Mancubus I may also have to leave alone, because he occupies the teleport destination. Also, I ran out of cell pickups. Okay, now the Kakos will spawn. Kakos and Pain Elementals. The second energy cell pack will be available soon. Should be on this side where the shells are. You have to pay good attention. Oh, Pain Elementals here. Come on, give me the cell pack. Or did I miss it? No, I don't think so. There it is. Okay. No. Also, oh, so many lost cells. Oh, this is bad. I need to save cells. For the final enemy here. Okay. Ooh. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, Eric, no. Okay, I still have medikits. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is nerve wracking. Jesus Christ. That final file, it may look easy. It looks it looked like I was just running around and spamming plasma, but believe me, that final fight is. You have to really pay attention to well, first of all, the supercharge secrets. You only get one chance. And those additional cell packs, two of them, also one chance, and they are very much needed. And you need to save at least 40 cells for the final arch fall, because it's gonna get crowded there. There's gonna be lost souls, there's gonna be Kekos, Arachnotrons, there's no way you can hide and not take any damage. And yeah, you get a Megasphere, and yeah, you get, the, you get the Supercharge also, but most of the time, it's at the start of the, the descent, so you already have... Plenty of health and armor, so it doesn't really do much, that supercharge. And yeah, the medikits, all you can use to heal up. And man, that is... That is nerve-wracking, for sure. Very difficult map. I would say this one is... I think it's harder than map 32, honestly. Map 32, okay, the beginning is difficult, but you can just restart within 10 seconds, and it's no big deal. But this map, oh... Every, every room is just very dangerous. The beginning rooms, with the chain gunners and the hell knights. Yeah, you get to you get to run, get the berserk, get the supercharge, get the armor. Then, um, the red key room, where you get yeah, boxed in with two revenants and a pinky. And yeah, surrounded by more revenants, hell knights and chain gunners. It's brutal. Very brutal. And then the final fight, yeah, jeez. The descent. 
It's so slow, you cannot leave. There's limited ammo, limited health, no extra armor. It is uh, very deadly and I got sweaty palms just thinking about it. But I'm glad it's over. Descent to Nowhere, a very underrated map. I have no idea what this one is, why this one is uh, not in the main map set. It's like a bonus map, I guess. Uh, I didn't read the intro yet or the description of this map yet. Maybe there's a reason why this map is hidden. I don't know. But uh, it is very difficult with fast monsters. That's all I want to say. All right. Have an awesome day. The Sentinel to nowhere done. We're going back to the main levels. Map 16 is next. See you next time. Later.